This is amazing. Now we have root LLM. It's a cost effective LLM routing. So what does that mean? So when you run anything without root LLM, and if you're using a large language model, such as GPT-4, it is going to increase in the cost. And also you're going to spend higher cost for basic queries, such as, hi, hello, how are you? So is there any optimal way to decrease the cost, route the queries based on the complexity of the question asked? That's when we have root LLM open source framework for cost effective LLM routing. So in this way, we are able to get performance, which is nearly equal to GPT-40, but still the cost is comparatively very low. This is going to change the way we use large language models or AI in our application. You can see a cost reduction of over 85% on MT Bench, 45% on MMLU, 35% on GSM 8K dataset, while still achieving 95% of GPT-4's performance. By the end of this video, we'll go through all the findings and the research paper. We will see how you can integrate this with your own Python application, integrate with Olama, integrate with Grok, and finally integrate that in a user interface like this. And you are able to ask questions. And based on the complexity of the question, the answer is getting generated from the large language model. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about root LLM. So the basic concept is that when you ask a question as a user, when there is a question being asked, it goes to the router and it analyzes if the question asked is a simple question or a complex question. So based on that, we are going to route to a different large language model. If it's a basic question, it's going to use Mixtral H7B. And if it's a complex question, it's going to route to GPT-4. And finally, we get a response. The key thing to note is that in this root LLM router, they created four different models. So here you can see we trained four routers using mix of chatbot arena data and data augmentation. So the first one, is using similarity weighted ranking, then matrix factorization model, then using BERT classifier, then it uses causal LLM classifier. And they train all these with the chatbot arena data. If you don't know about chatbot arena, it automatically generates two response from two different models and we are able to vote which one is better. So this data is used to train all these four models. When we compare these four models, you can see the more optimized version from this chart. The code is open sourced. And when we see the config, you can see all the four types of models here with similarity search, course LLM, BERT and matrix. So we are going to use this. We're going to see how we can integrate that in our application. And also they have a open AI compatible server. I'm going to take this step by step on how to implement all of this. But before that, I regularly create videos with regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So first step, pip install a root LLM, serve, eval, chainlit and rich and then click enter. Chainlit is used for creating the user interface and rich is just for us to print clearly on the screen. So after this, export your open AI API key like this and then click enter. You can generate this from open AI website. This is used to connect with GPT-4 model. Next, export AnyScale API key like this and then click enter. AnyScale provides multiple large language models in that we are going to use Mixtral. First, we'll see how we can use any scale and use Mixtral from there. Then we'll be using Olama and finally we'll be using Grok. So first, any scale. So in our terminal, let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. Inside the file, from root LLM dot controller, import controller, then importing print from rich. Now we are going to define the client. Here the client, we are mentioning the router that is MF, matrix factorization, and then strong model is GPT-40, and the weak model is from any scale mixtral 87 b instruct. So this is how you define your strong model and weak model. So after this, we're going to say response equals client.chat.completions.create. Next, I'm going to mention the model name that is router MF 0.11593. And the first question which I'm going to ask is hello. So for this query, it need to use mixtral 87 b rather than GPT-40 because this is a basic question. Now after this, I'm going to print the response, print response. That's it. Now I'm going to run this in your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. Now you can see the response here and it is using Mixtral 87B model. And here is the response. Hello, I'm here to help you with the best way I can. As we saw before, the question asked is routed to Mixtral 87B rather than GPT-4. 
in that way, the cost is going to be less. So next we are going to add one more complicated question. For that, I'm going to add response equals client chat completions create. And here I'm going to ask, what is the square root of 183948? So that's the complicated question. And then printing the response, that's it. Going back to our terminal, Python app.py, and here is the response. So the square root question is complicated. So it's using GPT-40. Similarly, for a complicated question, it'll use larger model or a strong model. And for easy questions, it's going to use smaller model. In that way, this is going to work out cheaper. Next, you might have a question. What is this number, 11593? You know, MF means matrix factorization, just we saw. That's one of the model. But how we can get this number? So that is the cost threshold. So to find the threshold or to calibrate the threshold, just type Python hyphen M, root LLM calibrate threshold. And here I'm mentioning the router is MF and the strong model 0.5 and then click enter. Here's the response, 50% strong model calls for MF, threshold is here. So this means anything which has complexity more than 50%, then the threshold number is this. If I make it 0 0.4, the strong model PCT, then it's going to be 0.1339. So accordingly, we can use it. So in this case, 40% it uses the strong model and 60% it uses the weak model. So that number, you replace that here based on your requirement. Next, let's see how you can integrate that with Olama. Just download Olama from olama.com, then Olama pull Llama 3. This will download the Llama 3 model. Then same as before, we are mentioning the weak model. Here we are saying Olama chat slash Llama 3 and everything else remains the same. So the strong model is still GPT-40. Now I'm going to run this and here is the output. For the first question, it uses Llama 3. And for the second question, that is finding the square root, it uses GPT-40. Now let's see how you can integrate that with the Grok. So in your terminal, export Grok API key like this and then click enter. Next in the file, the one small modification is that we need to mention the model name here. So the weak model is Grok slash Llama 3 8B. 8192. So that is the model name and that is the only difference. Now I'm going to run this and here is the response. For the first response I got that quickly because we are using Grok and for the second response it's using GPT-40. That's it. Now finally we are going to integrate this in a user interface that is Chainlit. To create the user interface there are two steps. One is to start the server and the second one is to create the user interface using Chainlit. To start the server just type python hyphen m root llm openai server routers mf and the weak model is olama chat slash llama 3 and then click enter this will automatically start the open ai compatible endpoint and it is running in this url so now we need to add this url in our application to do that i modify the code slightly so the base url which we are using is 6060 which i got it from here next api key is empty because we are using a root llm and the api key automatically takes from the environment variable that is OpenAI API key. Next, we are mentioning the model that is router MF and the threshold. Then on message, that means whenever we type a message, it's going to call this chat completions create function and it's going to generate the response. Now I'm going to run this code. I'm going to keep the server running. The second step, I need to run chainlit, run ui.py and then click enter. Here is the user interface. I'm going to ask hi. And in the terminal, we saw an error saying like light LM drop params true. So how you can fix this? So just open this URL and just at the top for light LLM, just below that import function, just mention light LLM drop params true. That is exactly what we saw here. I just copied it from here and pasted it here. I believe probably this will be fixed soon, but for now you can use this. So I'm going to cancel this again and start the server again with the same command, root LLM open AI server. And again, I can see it's running in this URL. Similarly, I'm going to restart my chainlit by typing chainlit run ui.py. This issue comes only when we use Olama for some reason. So this is a user interface. Now when I type hi, then it should use the small model that is a weak model. And based on that, I got this response. Similarly, when I type a complex question, square root of a random number. At this time, this is going to use GPT-40 model. And I got the response here. In this way, you are able to integrate this root LLM in your own application. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.